But they forgot, sir. What a day. Tell us something about the emotion wearing this pink jersey in front of the Eternal City. Yeah, it's getting long day now, but uh, I think uh, I, I don't realize yet what it, what it means, no? So let's, uh, let's get through this day, all the, all the uh, uh, media and everything. And then uh, when I stay home, relax, I think I will uh, slowly realize uh, what, uh, what we achieved. And uh, yeah, I'm just uh, now it's just a bit uh, crazy, everything. <laughs> But uh, in, in this moment, uh, what, do it, what does it mean for you to win a Giro d'Italia after two Tour de France, after all the big races you won? Yeah, I, I mean, uh, I don't know, it, it means a lot. Uh, it's my first time in Giro and that I can win in this uh, way. Uh, I'm really, yeah, uh, it's one of my biggest wins so far and uh, yeah, alongside the Tour, of course. But uh, yeah, uh, it's yeah, incredible. <laughs> Yes, you not only win the Giro d'Italia, but you gave a uh, show at every race, you, at every stage uh, you, you had the opportunity. That was the plan at the beginning of the Giro. Oh, the plan was uh, just to arrive to Rome with good men, men, mental health and uh, good legs. And uh, I achieved that, so I'm, uh, I'm where I want to be. And uh, everything was just uh, extra and uh, I was uh, super happy to, to, to give the, the fans also some show or whatever and uh, yeah, that I could enjoy it as well, uh, you know, it was uh, yeah, amazing to ride alongside all these fans. If you have to pick just one memory of this Euro d'Italia, which one will you pick? I, I don't know yet, I really don't know yet, but uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's wait to sink everything in, but uh, for sure uh, one moment uh, with, the, with the guys because uh, they were there with me for three weeks, even more before on training camp. So like they they mean they they mean a lot to me, you know. And uh, we're like family. So for sure, uh, one special moment with them. And now head on to the France. Now uh, let's uh, switch off for a few days, and then switch on 100% focus and uh, let's go for the tour. It, uh, it has congratulations. It has looked like it has been perf three perfect weeks. Was there also any moments maybe you regret or maybe could have been gone better for the negative or the things to no. improve maybe? No. It was perfect all, all along? <laughs> yeah, I'm super happy how I finished this Giro and uh, everything was just a bonus. Yeah, uh, to win six stages in the end was just uh, incredible and I can thank so to, to the team that they put so much work into it and uh, yeah, uh, no regrets with it. Uh, <laughs> we did one of the best uh, races possible. We talked a lot about numbers. Did you? Are you? Is where you are now exactly where you would have liked to be uh, at the end of the Giro before to the France? Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm on the right uh, road to to the Tour de France. Yesterday I had. Uh, now the last few days I had uh, amazing legs as well. So I mean, for the third week was uh, really good, and uh, now I think I can recover really good. Um, that efforts and uh, all these three weeks super compensate and uh, then uh, I think uh, yeah can be prob can be the same or even better the legs we'll see. Thank you. Thanks. Enjoy.